And today, we're at the Pearson Field Education Center here in Vancouver, Washington. And we're gonna get to look at a lot of different types of little airplanes. Come on, let's go. Look at this one. You get to dress up and sit in it. This looks pretty neat. <laughs> Captain Frankie Ray at your service. Ooh. Hey, look at me. <laughs> I'm gonna climb into this airplane over here. Ooh. Whoa. fit into this plane, <laughs> but this year is a lot of fun. Ooh. Guess what? This is my friend Sally, and she's going to show me so many cool things because she's been studying aeronautics for a little while. Hi, yeah. Sally. Hi. Over here we have the Whirly Gig. Ooh. This is a Whirly Gig. Do you mm -hmm. want to learn how to make one? Yeah. Look, that sounds like Great. fun. So I've been told that the most important part is picking the right color. Oh boy. Well, I think a lot of people know that my all-time favorite colors are yellow and green. So I think we'll make a yellow one today. <laughs> Great. Okay. So you gotta pick out the right color. Okay. And then you wanna roll it up like this. Ooh. Okay. Okay, roll it now up. Now you want to stick your fingers in one end and open it. So Ooh. you have sort of like an ice cream cone shape. Oh, okay. Then you want to take the tape and you want to tape it closed so it doesn't fall open. Oh, that's a good idea. Whoa. Wow. Oh, hers looks really good. Why, thank you, Ricky Ray. <laughs> Let me get another piece of tape. Okay. Now, the next thing you want to do is if you look, this part is higher up than this part. So you just want to cut it so that they're the same height. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now, you want to cut flaps in at a slight angle. This is the interesting part because you can experiment with different lengths and angles. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow, well, I wonder what it's gonna do. Oh, you did a lot. Maybe I should do a little bit more. Ah, uh, that's the cool part too, because you can experiment with different lengths, widths, Ooh. and amounts. Nice. So next, we're just going to fold them out. Okay. So we have like helicopter plates, because that's really what this is based off of. Oh. Wow, this is kind of fun. Okay. And then it's done. So why don't we go yeah. test it out at the Whirly Gig table? Ooh, look at this. <gasps> Ooh, it's like a fan under here. That's pretty cool. Turn it on. And then you just hold them over the ground and they fly up. Whoa! Whoa! That's super cool. Hey, there's some extra ones over here. I'm going to try this shorter one see what happens. Whoa! Look at this! What is this big this machine? Engine. Oh! It's the Wasp boy. Major. They Ooh. used eight in the biggest plane on Earth, the Spruce Goose. Or at least it was when it was built. Whoa! They used eight of these engines on the Spruce Goose? Look at that! There it is, right there! Whoa! That's a lot of engines! What? That must have been a huge plane! Yep! Hey, what's over here? Over here is the glider building station. Ooh, a glider building station? I think we're gonna make a glider. <laughs> oh boy, 
So okay. You have to pick out the parts. Okay. So that's your fuselage, the body of the plane. Oh. Here we have the wings. Oh, wow. And then we, we have a tail. Up. And look, it's in yellow. Oh, perfect. <laughs> okay. So then we come over here and we have to glue the fuselage onto this line here with oh. the hot glue. Okay. So I'm going to put hot glue right here. Wow, this is kind of like a super fun craft. That it is. Okay, then we're going to put it right on this line. Whoa, hold it down. I love making crafts. <laughs> okay, then you have to glue the tail on this line here. Oh. Make sure to glue the straw too so that it doesn't pop off over here. Down like that? Yep, perfect. Oh, it's kind of messy. Yep, it oh. can be a little bit dribbly. Hot glue guns really can hurt if you're not careful, so make sure if you try this at home, you have an adult with you. Well, this glider looks pretty good to me. Is that just about done? Well, you can make it look even better with the decoration. Oh, let's color something on it. Hmm, how about... Oh, I have an idea. Hmm, what kind of shapes? Well, I like both. Maybe I'll draw a green bow on it. Ooh, Ooh that looks pretty good. Okay, and um, hmm, how about a dinosaur? I like dinosaurs. Oh. They have super long tails. Oh boy. Okay, <laughs> there's my funny looking dinosaur. Well, well that looks pretty neat. Okay, now, you have to test it out. Yes. This is gonna be the best part ever. Here we go. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, it, wow, let's try that again. Oh boy. Okay, I'm going to throw it at you. Are you ready? Watch out. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. Oh boy, should we do it one more time? We'll go back this way. Oh, right into the helicopter. Hey, let's go look at that helicopter over there. So why don't you climb in and I'll turn it on. Okay. Oh, look at this. Now press the orange start button. Okay. Let's go. Oh, wow. I'm still like in a big helicopter. That's cool. What does this do? That oh. in a real helicopter would be your control. So oh. this would make the plane go up and down. Oh, and what does this do? That is the flight click. That makes the plane turn or bang. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh, look at these fancy outfits. Who are these? These belong to Jan Wood. She was a wasp, a women's Air Force service pilot. Ooh. In World War II, when all the men went to war, the women had to do their jobs, including build the planes and test them. Oh. That's what Jan Wood did in this outfit. Whoa! Wow! Wee! Ooh! And what's this one over here? This one is her formal uniform. That's the one she wore when she was flying the planes. This is the one she wore to ceremonies. Oh! So she would look pretty and fancy in this one. Ooh! I like it. Yep. Hey! She, when she got out of the war, she wanted to keep flying. But the problem was, the men did all the flying jobs then. So she got her own plane. Oh. Do you want to come see it? <gasps> they have it here. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't wait. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, it's called the little yellow cloud. It's yellow and white. Oh my goodness. Wow. She traveled all over the world in it. Oh boy.
boy. She painted all this herself. She painted that herself. And when she visited all these countries, she painted their flag on her door. Oh, that's really So she really visited cool. Germany and France, Spain, Switzerland, Belgium, the United Kingdom, Holland, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Italy, Greece, Turkey, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, India, Burma, Siam, Singapore, and Federal Malay. Whoa, she really did go all over the world. That's crazy. And yes. what an artist. She sure is. Why don't you climb inside, Brecky Brecky? Wow. Oh, boy. Wow, you should get in with me. Oh, I feel like a real pilot. Oh, wow. This is really, really neat. What is this called, Sally? That's called the yoke. Ooh. And when you pull it back, it makes the elevators in the back go up and down so that the plane's nose can go up so you can go higher. Hey, how about you go to the back and look at it and I'll show you. Go look. <laughs> so when you push it forward, the plane's nose would go down. Oh, yeah, okay. And when you turn it from side to side, that makes the plane bank in the direction you want to go. So if you were to turn it left, the plane would bank left. Oh, boy. And this controls the ailerons on the wings. Ooh, that's really neat. What are the pedals for? The pedals are the only way you can steer on the ground. They're called rudder pedals. Oh. They're for when you're taxiing on the ground because this doesn't do anything. Right. That's really cool. <laughs> they also are very helpful in the air, believe you me. Oh, wow. This is the throttle, which means the, makes the plane go faster or slower. Ooh. Wow, but you wouldn't want to go too slow up in the air because then you might stall your airplane and crash. <laughs> that would not be good. So what is this called? This is the rudder, which is what the pedals control. Okay, and then these right here are the elevators, which is what makes the plane go up and down. Wow. This is like a mini elevator, and it's trim. They say the very best pilots can fly with their pinkies because they adjust the trim so much that they don't even have to work very hard. Whoa. Okay, so we have elevators, rudders, the trim. Oh boy, there are so many different parts of an airplane. Ooh, check this out. This right here is an aircraft carrier. I'm gonna try to land this plane on the aircraft carrier. Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> Whoa. sure is a lot of fun. Wow, I had so much fun at the Pearson Field Education Center. Hey, parents, you should definitely check out their Facebook page and look at their hours because they're here just hanging out all the time and you can learn so much that there is to know about airplanes. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
our things. Our seatbelt's still on. Oh boy, that was a treat. Our journey draws near. Thank you, pilot and crew. What an awesome adventure. And it's all thanks to you. You know what an airport's all about, don't you? That's right, we're gonna learn about airplanes today. I'm so excited. Come on, let's go. Well, well, I'm gonna introduce you to my friend Dan. He's the airport manager and he's also a pilot, so he's gonna show us around this airport and then take us on a ride in his airplane. Doesn't that sound like fun? I can't wait. Come on, let's go. No, 172 and it is blue white and gray isn't that pretty so before we get started we have to do a flight check isn't that right dude that's right okay do you want to walk me through that sure I'd be happy to so we're gonna do a lot of little things like this is a cover to keep dirt and birds from getting in the engine that makes sense you don't want anything icky getting into the engine right before you fly so one of the first things we do is make sure that the ignition key is up on the dash and not in the ignition it's just a safety feature then we have a fuel strainer because sometimes water can uh, form in the fuel because of condensation. Oh! So we want to make sure the water is heavier than the fuel. Oh! So we put it into the drain like this, okay. and we drain a little bit of fuel, and we check to make sure it's not dirty, because any of the dirt would be at the low point, and it would drain out into here. So it's not dirty, and it's the right color. It's just a Whoa. light, light blue, and there's no water floating in it. So that's so a good that's sign. That's a good sign. That checks out just right. Wow, perfect. Wow, wait. So there's one more because each wing has a fuel tank. Oh, okay. So how about you drain that one, Brecky? Okay, you just put it right in here. Yep, and you push until it's about half full. Is that that's, enough? Well, that's perfect. Yeah, that's good. Oh. And it's the right color, and there's no dirt. There's no dirt in there. And I don't see any water floating at the top. Nope. We're good. You see that? Looks pretty clean to me. We're good to go. There you go, Dan. Thanks for letting me try that. You're welcome. What kind of fuel is that, Dan? Is it just gasoline? Well, it's just about like gasoline. It's called aviation fuel, mm. and it's a higher octane. Oh, wow. It's a lot more powerful, sounds yeah. like. <laughs> this is just part of the, the rear of the engine. We've got the battery, and we just make a general inspection to make sure everything looks the way it's supposed to. You don't want to see any rust or bugs or mice making nests in there. That would be terrible. Or oil dripping out. Oh, uh, or oil. <laughs> and a little secret. Right up here. You know what that is? What is that? That's an extra set of keys for the plane. Oh. In case we flew someplace and we lost them. <laughs> oh boy, can you imagine flying somewhere, landing, and then forgetting where your keys are? And you're like, uh, I'm stuck here. I need another set of keys. There's an extra pair in there. <laughs> That's smart. Yeah. And right here is the oil dipstick. And we've got just the right amount of oil. Oh, perfect. Hmm. Dan, I can tell you take really good care of your airplane. Oh, uh, we sure try to. <laughs> you know the number one cause of accidents of small airplanes? Huh. Running out of gas. Oh, boy. 
in what happens if you run out of gas in an airplane? Well, your engine's gonna stop. Oh. And then you've got to glide. Oh. And hopefully you've been watching and you know where a safe place is to land. Wow. So if you run out of a gasoline in your uh, engine in an airplane, you're gonna have to prepare to come to a landing somewhere. So look out below, everybody. <laughs> Now he's gonna get some headsets out so that we can put them on when we ride in the airplane and talk to each other because it's so noisy up there. You can't really hear each other if you don't have a headset on. <laughs> wow, so all of our pre-flight check is done and now it's time to pull out this airplane. You wanna help me pull it? Sure. All right. There we go. propeller. Look how big that is. And the outside of this is the fuselage. We have the wings. There are two wings on this airplane and a wing strut. Right here we have the flaps. From here over is the flaps and the aileron right here. This helps it turn from left to right. Pretty cool. Wow, check out these numbers and letters on the side of the airplane. Pretty cool, huh? Well, this is the registration number, and every aircraft registered in the United States starts with the letter N. But in airplane terms, they use a word to help describe letters so that if you can't fully hear, are you saying N or M? I can't tell. You can say November 172 Bravo Echo. Well, here at the back of the plane, we have an elevator, and this makes it go up or down. Pretty neat, huh? And this is the rudder, and it helps point the airplane in the way that it needs to go. Wow, there are so many cool parts of this airplane. Look at this one. This is a really tiny elevator. Wow, check out over here. This is the landing gear. Oh boy, there are three tires. See that? And then you have some brakes attached to the landing gear, so when you're coming down really fast, you're able to stop your airplane. Hey, Brecky Breck, would you like to go for an airplane ride? I would love it! Wow! Come on, let's go! Wow, we Look at us! We're in an airplane! Check this out. This right here is the yoke. And right here we have the throttle. To go faster, do you push that in or pull back? You push it forward to go push fast. It. Oh, wow. And what's this one? That's the fuel cutoff. Oh. So we're going to push that forward before we start. So when he starts the engine, he's going to wait a minute to listen for any sounds that he hears if it's abnormal before he puts his headset on. That's really smart. So we push the mixture control forward so that allows the fuel to go into the engine. And then I check to make sure that other switches are turned off and that everything's in the right position. And then we're just about ready to start. So before we turn the key, which starts the propeller, we always yell out the window and we go clear <laughs> to make sure that it's just a safety thing. Sometimes there could be people close by. Clear.
out the window, there's so much to see. Mountains and cities, oceans and trees. The land far below, with colors so bright. I see green, yellow, and blue. Wow, what a sight! Spark plugs, that seems like an important thing on an airplane. I want you to meet someone. Hi, Hi. this is my friend Darcy. <laughs> what are you doing, Darcy? I am inspecting this engine to oh, make wow. sure it's safe. So you're a mechanic? I am a mechanic. Do you know how to fly airplanes too? I do. Whoa! <laughs> how long is the training to become a pilot? Um, it depends on how often that you practice. Wow. So it took me 10 months. 10 months? Wow, she really wanted to be a pilot. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Wow, well it is so important to have mechanics who know what they're doing can make sure that the airplanes are safe and ready to fly. Thanks again, Darcy. You're welcome. You see this plane behind me? This is a very special plane. This is a Pilatus PC-12, and it's used to help people. So I'm gonna introduce you to somebody. This is my friend Andrew. What do you do, Andrew? I'm a flight nurse with Life Flight Network. Wow, that sounds like a really fun job. So what is this plane used for? This plane is used to transport sick people, patients that are Whoa. injured, bring them to hospitals where they can get better care. Wow, so you have a very important job. Can we take a look on the inside of this plane? Let's go. Come, Come on. on. Wow, look at the inside of this thing. Oh my goodness. So Andrew, what are these seats for? These seats are for the medic and the nurses to sit. And this is the bed that we put the patient on. Wow. And if it's not uncomfortable for them we can put their head up Ooh. or down Wow! and we can put all of our medical equipment here and in the back there we have drawers for it as well Ooh, let's check out some of these drawers <laughs> in this drawer here we have suction just like if you're at the dentist office where they can Ooh, it can suck liquid out huh? yeah out of people's mouths or other places wow. that we need to and then in here we have extra oxygen, oxygen tanks. we have stuff for babies in here, wow. and then breathing equipment as well. Wow, so they've thought of every situation that you could possibly think of for someone in need of help. So 
So you might wonder how we move the patient in and out of here. We can do it with this bed right here. Whoa, look and at that. And then we can slide them back in. So it definitely looks like you need some help. How many people are on this plane to help a patient? We have a pilot, we have a flight nurse, and then we have a medic, and then we have the patient. So that makes four. Four people on this plane, wow. -y. Andrew brought a bunch of medical equipment out here to show us. Isn't this awesome? Oh my goodness, so what is this right here, Andrew? This is our monitor. It's like a little TV that we can hook up to the patient to see what their heartbeat is doing. Wow. And how they're breathing and oxygenating. Wow, so you can know all of their vital signs and they're in the clear and good to go or they're getting better. That's really cool. What about this backpack? This I like this backpack, it's the color red. <laughs> this backpack here carries a lot of our medical equipment as well. And here we have some medicines. If people are hurting really badly, we can give them medicine to make them feel better. We have one in here that has IVs in it as well. Whoa. If you've ever seen an IV, we can put IVs in patients and give them Liquid. IV fluids to make them feel better as well. Wow, so if they're dehydrated, sometimes you need an IV to get hydrated again. That's really neat. And then, we also have what's called an IV pump here. This is if we're giving special medicine and it has to be given in just the right amount so that we can't make any mistakes. Wow, so that'll keep track and monitor how much is coming into their bloodstream at the right time. And then kids, we have a lot more specialized medicines in here as well. Whoa. Have you ever been stung by a bee? Oh wow, I have definitely been stung by a bee so before. So if you get stung by a bee, have you ever had a medicine called Benadryl or Ooh, anything like that? Yeah. We have that in here as well. And we have medicine for people that are having trouble with their heart as well. Wow. Have you ever had to fly to somebody who got stung by a bee? No, but some of my coworkers that I know, they have done that before. Because sometimes people can have allergic reactions to bees like that, and I have, I don't have allergic reactions, but it can be really scary, so I'm really glad you guys are here to help. Oh my goodness, it takes a lot of equipment and a lot of really intelligent special skills to be able to help people just the way that they need in case of an emergency. This is amazing. Do you want to go check out the cockpit? Come on, let's go! So you ever watch your parents drive their car? <laughs> this is where the pilot drives the airplane. He can steer it right here. What is that called? This is called a yoke on an airplane. Oh, not a steering wheel, it's a yoke. Very interesting. And then, he can give it gas, like a gas pedal right here. And here's wow. where he can adjust the power on it to make it go fast and take off. Wowee! Guess what? They use another vehicle for life flight. Let's go check out the helicopter. Come on! Wow, do you see this big blue machine behind me? This is a helicopter, and right now we're inside the helicopter hangar, and this is where Life Flight keeps their helicopter, so let's go check it out. Andrew, this thing is amazing. I love how open it is. So what's the helicopter used for? The helicopter moves patients just like the airplane, but the helicopter can get into places where there's not a big runway that the airplane can't get into. Wow. And it can land at hospitals, or it can land out in the forest if we have to all kinds of places. Wow, that's amazing. This thing can go up and down and sideways, but an airplane can't necessarily do that as fast. Very cool. Whoa, whoa, what is this? This is our helmet. When we're flying, we wear helmets. And one of the reasons we do, because the helicopter's pretty loud. And so we can put our helmet on, and we can also talk to each other we have a little microphone right here. Wow, Roger, Roger, can I try it on? You sure can. Oh boy. Hi, I'm Pilot Ricky Brick, ready for takeoff. Very good. Wow, that's amazing. Check the inside of this thing out. 
This is the yoke. You see how this is a lot different than the than the yoke in the airplane? You can move this thing all around because this can fly in multiple directions. That is pretty neat. Wow, we life flight sure is amazing. Thank you so much, Andrew, for showing me around this helicopter and the airplane. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, we'll see you later. Let's listen to the airplane song. I love that song. I'm flying, come fly with me In my airplane, the whole world to see I'm flying, come fly with me In my airplane, the whole world to see Packed up, we're here, the crew says hello